staff members from the Holyoke Soldiers Home sharing their side of the story in front of lawmakers today. They explain the problems they face fighting the deadly COVID-19 outbreak that left 76 veterans dead at the facility earlier in the year. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now live with the details. Audrey. If only they had had access to PPE and more staff, lives could have been saved. That was what Soldiers Home staff members and health care workers stated before a panel of lawmakers today. Lawmakers who are looking to get to the bottom of the deadly outbreak of COVID-19. Cressy ebler Deppi is a certified nursing assistant at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. But today, lawmakers also called him brave. I have to put two people in the body bag and send them to uh, the refrigerator truck. A joint committee of state senators and representatives hearing his testimony about how COVID-19 spread out of control at the Holyoke Soldiers Home, leaving 76 veterans dead. Abler Deppi says he was reprimanded for wearing personal protective equipment as the outbreak ramped up in March. They wrote me up and said I didn't ask permission and I caused alarm in the building. So I was like, what alarm did I cause? Speaking to Western Mass News, Abler Deppi says low staffing before the pandemic only laid more work on the backs of the unprotected workers. We don't have enough staff on the ground before the COVID hit the facility. The legislators heard from family members of veterans last week as they prepare a full report on the outbreak to be released in March. The state should adhere to staffing requirements for each job on each unit. A representative from the Massachusetts Nurses Association spoke as well, one of seven people slated to speak publicly at the hearing. Andrea Fox, however, says many nurses won't speak publicly because of the bullying culture that still plagues the home. Sadly and very concerning, many have informed me that they plan to submit personal written statements anonymously out of fear, yes, fear of retaliation. Coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll hear more from healthcare workers about what they want to see change at the home going forward. Live in Holyoke, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.